will stop about every mile along the road and it's usually probably 20 stops for every time we get a response so and each time we normally howl five uh, three times first we do a, some real quiet howls and that wasn't probably as important here but normally you do quiet howls initially because you don't know if the wolves are 100 yards in the woods or if they're five miles away and if they're 100 yards in the woods and you howl loudly you're more likely to scare them off whereas if you howl quietly they think you're at a distance and the wolves don't want a confrontation with a strange wolf in their territory they want to tell a strange wolf to leave their territory and that's how we find out where they are and in the summertime too when we hear the pup voices they have a much higher pitched voice so then we can determine if a particular pack has pups with them so it's a survey we do on a regular basis in the summertime to search for packs and find out if they're producing pups that summer it's also a way to figure out if you're in an area like this that is, is there a wolf nearby and uh, they may respond, they don't always respond, but if they respond then we would know there's a wolf in the area. Coyotes respond, dogs respond, loons respond, sometimes even deer respond, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but and sometimes people will respond too. Probably gave the neighbors a thrill. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> going on and on and on and and it's sort of a, a raucous great good feeling it, to hear and but then when you get a lone wolf <coughs> responding to you I always feel bad <laughs> like I you know sorry buddy but I'm not a wolf you know and oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know just seems like I'm kind of you know yeah, yeah. 